Oh, I'm here with Dynasty in Vinyl Gate, the day after the one of the greatest party that were ever hel held in Poznań. <laughs> we should be totally hangover right now, but we're not. We're funky fresh, and we're here together. Yes, I'm so excited. Dynasty, did you enjoy the show yesterday night? Enjoy is not the word. It's not the word. I loved the show. It was amazing. Like, I'm still, like, I'm hungover on excitement. Like, I'm like, just, I don't know. I can't relax because it was so good. So much fun. Good energy, you know? So, I loved it. Thank you guys again for having me, first of all. Thank you. Thank that you. That's awesome. So, children, we don't need alcohol. We need excitement. Yes, that's, 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 the, that's, that's the message. The thing. That's the message. <laughs> all right. Dynasty, when you were young, you used to come up to the mirror with a brush and you were singing Michael Jackson oh songs, gosh. Whitney Houston. Uh, I'm starting <laughs> with the man in the mirror. Exactly. And you were probably changing the lyrics into, I'm starting with the woman in uh -huh. the mirror. and uh, With the uh, dance moves you, and everything. Yes, you're eating some sweets probably. And <laughs> why, why, tell him that's it, that it's human <laughs> nature. <laughs> why, why? Why? Were you there? Of course I was there. <laughs> Just, the spirit of the music. I, was I had there. a... I had a um, Cabbage Patch Kids record player. Wow. And I used to play, put the records on it and play it. I was like a baby though. So wow. it was like so cool. Well, who was the one that brought uh, the vinyls into your house? My grandma. Your grandma? Yeah, I lived with my, um, well, between two homes. And I was raised between two homes with both older people. My godparents, who were, were old enough to kind of be like my grandparents, and, um, and my grandma. So. They ha they still have vinyl, so I grew up with vinyl in the house. So she was the one that injected music into your veins. Yep, yep. She blasted in the house, so I grew up listening to her play. You know, Whitney, um, Michael. You know, then when I got a little older, I was doing Janet. You know, right. uh, Anita Baker. You know, that kind of music is is the kind of stuff I was listening to when I was a little kid. Right. <laughs> And then when you were 11 years old, am I right? Yeah. You started rapping a little bit. A little bit. I know that you were hanging around with some boys in the hood. <laughs> They were rapping too. But how did it all start? Like, uh, I suppose that, it, well, you're in the neighborhood. Some people are listening to rap music. But what was your story? Like, suddenly you no. decided, hey, I want to rap. And I was like... I, I was like a girl that was like, well, if you could do it, I could do it. Okay. So what? If, so if a boy could do it, I could do it too. If you could ride a bike, you know, with one foot behind you and one hand in the air, I could do it, you know, even if I fall and like get scarred up. But, you know, right, right. so I kind of started doing it and me and a couple of my girlfriends, we would take other songs and then just start putting our name in it. So, yeah, like we would take like um, DOS Effect songs or something and start every little line try to say and i didn't i wasn't dynasty i was baby d baby d so then we put baby d in it now and you're all grown own. up and you should then have big dynasty or... then i grew i turned to big d when i got to high school baby d to big d that's such a great creative change right okay and then around 14 or 15 i got the name dynasty <laughs> and do you remember your first performance ever Oh, I think my the first performance that I really remember was, is my ninth grade talent show. Yeah, that's the first performance that I really remember. Have you won it? Huh? Have you won it? Did like, I? Well, it wasn't like a um, contest. It was like a, a talent show. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, so that's the first time I remember really being on stage and the crowd being like, ah. All right, and all right. I'm like, yeah, I like this. This is what I want to do. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Back to the future. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to ask you, what's the connection between YouTube, statistics, and Polish fans? The connection is, is something really special, actually. When I first started gaining, like, when people first started noticing me internationally, was around the time I dropped Epic Dynasty okay. with Primo. And when I went and looked at the analytics and who was checking in, Like, it's a chart, like a pie chart, and the biggest part was Poland. And I'm like, really? Like, Poland? Okay, and that was like three years ago. And now look at, I'm in Poland. We're here. It's amazing. We're so, here. So, shout out to Poland, and thanks for all of the love, because, you know, you guys have really been with me over the years and helped me to expand and grow. So, 
I feel like it kind of, that was a little seed that got my international touring and everything started. So that's cool. All right. And now you're growing every day bigger and bigger. And now you're planning to have a track with one of our producers, Donatan. Yeah. Yes. And Cleo. Mm -hmm. Uh How did it all start? Like, did did they call you, or did you call them? What was what's the story no, behind that? What's actually, the story behind the scenes? They um, reached out to me through um, Slavic. Slavic. Oh, okay. His name, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've been in touch with him, like as we've been promoting the shows. Okay. And while we were talking, he said, "Hey, you know, check out this music and let me know what you think." So he emailed me a song from Cleo and Donatan, and I checked two videos. I'm like, this is pretty good. And um, then he sent me the track that they want to do, and I actually love it. So you guys are gonna love this track because it's. I'm, I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Oh, it's, it's nice. Like I mystery. really like it. Yeah, it's a little different than the records that he sent me. It's a whole different. She has like this soul in her voice that when you hear it, just wait. Just But wait. is it going to be like more boom bapish or? It's 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 a hip hop track, okay. but. She's doing something really cool with her voice. It's like nice. she's she's hard with it. It, it. I mean, it still sounds pretty and everything, but it's like a little bit of soul, a little bit of... I can't even explain it. You just have to wait. It's going to be good. I just promise. Like, you're going to love it. Okay. I'm excited wait about it. Wait for it. But you're shooting the video here in Poland, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to shoot the video, I believe, tomorrow. So, pretty excited about it. They, they do great work. Their videos look awesome. So, hopefully I can match their work of course you will of course, <laughs> i'm sure about it. uh do you always carry a gym with you like <laughs> a poly pocket gym with you a poly so pocket gym. everywhere you go you always have some ropes with you <laughs> some ways just ready to work out at any time i was in the airport with my bags like yeah let me get these curls in real quick now actually um this year i started working out okay. hard you know before i would start and stop you know how it goes sometimes but since i started on january 1st and then the tour came um in um february i didn't want to fall off i don't want to lose my momentum i don't want to lose my muscles you know what i'm saying so i had to bring the gym with me on tour so you know today we had some pierogi so You I gotta do some sit-ups later. Yep. Yep. Afterwards, afterwards, burn those calories, <laughs> yeah. burn and those one, calories. And two, two, and, and three, and, and four. four. Yep. Yeah, you got it. Just push it. Just yeah. push it. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen one guy is from America, and I remember he was going like, and push it, and push it, and push it. You're good. You're good. You you, you have the spirit. You're gonna lose those calories. Burn them. Burn. They play those commercials all the time in America. Like constantly, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We can do it later. Oh, yeah. You do push ups yeah. here and push ups. One and two and three. Yeah. All right. Hip hop right. abs. Hip That's what it's called. We should <laughs> they have a we video. Should have a video. Abs. We, yeah. They have they a video. Oh my god. Yeah. We can do it later. All right. <laughs> That's cool. Uh what's your connection between the W M and F radio community. Oh, okay, cool. That's a cool question. To acknowledge them all the way, you know, across the ocean is really cool. WMNF is a, a local station in Tampa and they show a lot of support to the artists from there and they've been a huge part in helping me launch my career, you know, having me come up and do interviews, even let me perform in the studio, do a live, um, you know, performance on air. Okay, all right. Um, different events that they've been a part of that they've booked me for that had so many different people not just hip-hop followers but rock soul funk jazz reggae all together at, at these community events having me be like maybe the only rapper there wow. or one of few rappers you know and that's been a big part of helping me to establish myself so i have so much love for wmnf and i always support them in any way i can you know because it's community radio so mm -hmm we fund it you know the community funds it so yeah that's cool thank you for asking me about no, them at all, no, that's, no. that's awesome so you, we somehow can say that you 
owe him a little bit, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I, I would say that, you know, because they've really helped me, and that's why any opportunity that I get to help them, I do it. You know, whatever they need, I'm gonna, you know, be there for them because what they do for the community is so important, not just me, but so many artists of all different genres. I mean, they have poetry shows, okay. they have gospel shows, they have, you know, rock shows, everything. So, um, whatever we as artists can do to give back to them, it's our responsibility to do that for them. Nice. I know that you have always dreamt about having a track with Lauren Hill, Mo Step, Mo Step, sorry, uh, Yasin Bey. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Sorry, Mo Step, <laughs> Yasin Bey, <laughs> <laughs> and Talib Kweli. Mm -hmm. One of them checked. What Check. about what about the other two? Not yet, but it's coming. It's, it's coming. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Well, but are you working on it? I'm working on it every day by making dope music okay. and, and yeah, touring the world and having great shows. Because then they'll go, well, actually, most already. Well, Yasin Bey, but I still say most because yeah, when I fell in love with him, you know, that's my boo. When I fell in love with him, he was most. So I'm most still going to say most. Um, still in their heart. <laughs> still in my heart. Yasin Bey, most, whatever. Oh. And, uh,. Actually, one of my dreams, I opened for Black Star for them together. Right. And I remember finishing and walking off stage and most was walking towards the stage. And he like shook my hand and he's like, yeah, yeah, you, you did your thing out there. You know, and that voice like, yeah, peace, peace. Yeah, you did your thing. I'm like, <laughs> thanks. You know, <laughs> like it was just amazing. That was just the beginning. Just yeah. the beginning. And then the really cool thing is um, that was in Tampa and there's a party that we do that they do out there every Sunday called Old Dirty Sundays. Okay. And they play like old school hip hop and reggae and there's like B-boys and B-girls out there, you know. It's just a really dope party. And um, after we did that show, actually Sandman put them on to it. My DJ Sh um, Sandman told them about the party and they came through. And like Talib was spinning and most was on the mic, you know. We were like all chilling like backstage and it was amazing. So I say that to say they know what I do. He knows what I do, you know. So one of these days, one day I'll we're, check that we're off. waiting for it we're waiting yeah, for it yeah we gotta make it happen if people want I think people would appreciate that yeah sure Dynasty and Yasin Bey hmm. sounds good one to day, me one day <laughs> yeah you, uh, you always say that you spit your rhymes and you use your heart in order to do that uh, you have no patterns what are the patterns of other MCs then if you don't have the patterns what are their patterns? T explain to me a little more when you say I don't so, have a pattern. So, uh, so the, the the rhymes that you use are coming straight out of your yeah. heart, right? And you once said that uh, the other MCs they have some kind of oh, patterns. Like they mi they mimic other yeah. people, and okay. you're original yes. when it comes to that. I got and you. Yeah, it's kind of what I like to call formula rap. Uh, formula. So what that means yes. is like, there's always a key word that, okay. that's hot at the moment that everybody has to now say in their raps. You know what I mean? Like, recently it's been twerking. Everybody has to twerk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got to say a twerk in your rhyme. <laughs> right. Or, you know, last year at some t point, everybody was popping Molly. You know, everybody had to say Molly in their rhyme. You know, or everybody's turning up right now. Turn up, turn up. You Checked. know, you Checked. know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. So it's like, um, I just feel like I I'm not doing, I'm not following trends. Okay. Like, I write what I feel. I write... And if it happens to go with what's in in the moment, cool, you know, but I'm not listening to the radio and going, oh, that's what I got to say. Yeah. Turn okay. up, twerk. Turn up, twerk. twerk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. that's not what I'm doing. I'm, I'm making real music for real people, you know, from my heart. So and sometimes that means I'm, you know, in not battle mode per se, but I'm bodying an MC. So sometimes it means I'm spitting like that. Sometimes it means I'm talking about love. Sometimes it means I'm talking about forgiveness. You know what I mean? So because of that there's no one you can't put me in a box so it's all connected with emotions that yeah. flow around yeah. you, you know what's on with facebook life. yeah for example right? exactly <laughs> amen amen i need to take a quick glimpse at my sheet of paper but we're going to cut it we're going to cut it okay uh oh yeah juvenile detention centers uh you've been there uh, many times and spreading uh, the dream 
push your vision. Yes. Like uh, you tell the youngsters to pursue their dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you start doing that? And, and do you still do that? Do you have time? I do. I do still do that. Um, probably about two years ago, maybe at least I would say about two years ago. And I do still do it. It's something that I will always make time for because it's a part of my purpose. And it's something that's really important to me to go out and speak with, um, with our youth because it's hard for them now, you know? Um, this is, we had peer pressure growing up, but it's a different kind of peer pressure. You know, people are, people are mean these days. You know, people are angry. People are struggling. People are going through things. And um, a lot of times they don't know how to express that and release that energy. And the kids are seeing that. And they're seeing what's on TV, you know, violence, not treating people right, being disrespectful, okay. hearing it in the music, not loving each other, not being, you know, and... They're acting it out. It's a lot of violence going on in the States right now. You know, it's a, it's a big epidemic and um, it's on my heart to get out and, and let these kids know, like, your circumstances don't define your future. Like, you know, to share my story, you know, it's okay if you don't have um, a normal family. Like, that doesn't mean that you have to be broken, that you have to grow up broken. Like, you can overcome those things and, you know, you can tour the world. You know what I mean? You can live your dreams. So that's a part of my purpose. So that's why I get out and, and do that when I can. But when you come there, is it more like a lecture or you talk with the kids? Uh, uh, we mix it up. It's you like mix it up. I, I talk to them and I perform for them. Oh, Yeah, nice. always perform for them. And I always encourage them to perform too. So I always ask, okay, what do we have in here? And I let them know being talented doesn't mean that you rap, sing, dance, play basketball. You know, there are so many different gifts and talents. To be able to listen to mm -hmm. somebody is a talent. To be able to encourage somebody is sure. a talent. So I try to let them know, even if you don't get up here and sing a song, like you're still special, you're still gifted. So find your own thing and pursue it and make it happen. And and to reach the kids, you can't just lecture them. You can't just go in there. You need to be good of because course. you want to have a good job and you want to have a good life. You have to you have to reach them in some kind of way. And I have music. And so when I go in there and I rap and I play my videos and they go, oh, OK, yeah. Then I can say, so come on, y'all. What, 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 what are we doing with our life? What's your plan? Then they want to hear it. You know, so I use that to, to touch them and hopefully encourage and motivate them to live their best lives. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. That's when some people people come with their ties and, hey, you yeah. need to do this. You need to do that. <laughs> If you do wrong, you'll go to hell. If you do this, you'll go to heaven and right. so on. And it's good that and you're just like, oh, whatever, man. showing them the, the way, but by reaching them, as you said. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Thank you. I want to go back to the future, okay. like we did previously. And I was wondering, when you started listening to rap, and then you started rapping, uh, were you more into male rappers or female rappers when the, when it comes to their lyrics and your inspirations honestly i started listening to rap a little bit later because like you like you already knew when i was really little i was singing in the mirror to whitney houston so by the time even when i started rapping i wasn't really listening to rap that much it was more because it was like going on around me and i wanted to try it but by the time i really started listening it was like method man it was like my first like yeah he's dope you know oh, got okay. the album das effects loved das effects i don't i don't know they were just it for me um and then after that a little later on biggie and but the first time i really 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 started loving it was black star honestly black star. that was when that was the first album that i just well, I, I, I love Takao too, Method Man, but I mean, that was the first album that really spoke to me, that I felt like, that made me really want to write and start thinking about the lyrics and stuff. That was so, the first time when most Def got enrooted yeah, into your heart. Yeah, that was heart. the first time, you know, I fell in love, so. <laughs> <laughs> he started to be your boo then. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's when he was my boo. I was like, yeah, yeah, we could do that. And then, um, of course, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. You know, those two albums were like kind of like turning points for me with um with hip-hop yeah i'm wondering if lauren hill is ever going to 
come back to spin. She's put a couple of songs out, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know yeah, yeah, she's yeah. um you know on she's not where she was. I mean, where she was what 12, 13 years ago, you know, she's on a some different stuff now, but she, I heard she's been doing some shows and stuff, so we'll see you what never happens. Know. You, you never, never know. know. You we'll never see what know. happens. Okay, Dynasty, what's coming next when it comes to you? After the tour, are you going to work on other tracks? Do you have an LP coming, new videos? What's coming? Yep, working on some new videos. I'm definitely going to shoot a video while I'm on tour. It's kind of become like a little tradition, I think. So my first tour, we shot Super Dynasty in Berlin. Okay. My last tour, we shot Sweet Music in Paris. So now I'm going to shoot a video here in Poland. Mm -hmm. um, but for my own song, uh, I don't know where I'll shoot it yet. My videographer isn't here yet. So he gets here next week. So we'll see where we shoot a video. Um, so we've got videos coming. And um, I'm still working on pushing A Star in Life's Clothing. So as far as a new project, maybe later in the year or okay. maybe next year. But I'll definitely drop some new, maybe some remixes and um, some fresh music here and there too to keep you know for my peoples i don't want to make you guys wait too long but that's what we've got going on and definitely when i get back to the states i want to get a nice little u.s tour going as well so nice. yeah keep mm -hmm. on doing the, the good work thank that's you it. thank you the last question is now i started this little tradition mm -hmm. i'm going to ask this question to all of the artists that i have the, the interviews with The question is, what is hip hop? Hip hop for you, mm -hmm. for you especially. What is hip hop for you? Hip hop for me is my release. It's my outlet. It's my sanity. It's so many things for me. It's my love. It's my life. You know, because whenever I've gone through something, whenever I felt like I cannot go another day. Life is hard, like I'm tired of this. I had my music, I had my, my hip hop, you know? And um, you know, for me, hip hop is the culture, but the, the MC and aspect of it is, is my love. And um, you, you'll hear that when you listen to my music, like you can hear pain in some songs, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's my one constant since I was this big to where I am now, since I was a little girl. It's the one thing that has always been there and that will always be there. Because people come and go. People disappoint you, but the culture won't disappoint you. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're giving it, you're doing your part. You know what I'm saying? And, and you're staying true. It'll give you, like Mo said, people always ask me where hip hop is going. I tell them hip hop is going wherever we going. You know, like, as long as you keep pouring yourself into it and being genuine, like, it's going to be that. As long as we keep doing sure. what we're doing, it's going to be that. So it's... It's all of those things for me. It's you just know. a small brick and a huge wall, yeah. but we're, we're building it together. So. Yep, yep. So that's what it is. That's the thing. Thank you, thank you so much thank for you. the interview. I do have a tiny gift for you. You do? So. That's a t-shirt from our cruise, oh, especially for dope. you. I I, we it. hope that it's going to be good for you. That it's going to Ooh, fit. it's even an extra small. I love it. Thank you so much. And you guys have been awesome to me since you picked me up at the airport. So I just want to thank you and Adam so much for holding me down. You know, like I really, you showed up to the airport with gifts. They showed up to the airport with donuts. Like, you know me so well. That's the way to my heart. <laughs> you know? That's a crazy part, by the way. The story is that you, you've been in a... Got, got, got. I was in Lyon before. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and she wanted to eat some donuts donuts but we didn't have time but then but then we showed up and hey what do we with have donuts and i wasn't expecting it so that was like the use coolest, your imagination the coolest thing you know you think it and you can achieve it yes. dream pusher dream pusher yeah yes. can i tell everybody how to stay in touch with me is that cool of course of all course. right cool um well real quick i want to shout out my dj sandman who's out here on tour with me i mean it's been amazing so far make sure you guys keep in touch with us on the website uh yourgirlday.com y-a-g-i-r-l-d-y.com and you'll find facebook twitter instagram all of that information there so yeah cool thank you thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much we're blender art you can find us on facebook as well we're at vinyl gate that's right shouts to vinyl gate i to love Vinylgate. this place 
I Shout out it. to DJ Sandman. Yes. He's standing over there. <laughs> that guy knows how to snore. Yeah, that yeah. guy knows how to snore. <laughs> Big shout outs. Thank you so much once again, Dynasty. Thank you. Peace, y'all. Much love.